I'm the Herping Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Before we get started, I would just like to go into a quick little segue. Please do go check out my Instagram and Patreon if you are interested in supporting the channel, the Patreon that is, and go check out the Instagram for awesome nature pics, uh, updates, uh, like video cancellations because I always announce it there and yeah today we will be discussing the common slug eater it is a very interesting little snake and yeah let's get into it now it, you can identify the common slug eater by first of its length they grow to a maximum of about 43 centimeters, so really not that big. Um, they typically have a darker brown, uh, like, or sorry, a thick, lighter brown stripe going down their back. Excuse the background, like, building noise, I apologize. And a darker brown color. This does vary sometimes. They can be a lighter brown or, like, even a completely different color sometimes. So, um, the common slug eater is found in Gauteng, the Eastern Cape, the Western Cape, KwaZulu-Natal, Mpumalanga, and Lesotho. Outside of South Africa, we have Swaziland and Limpopo. So, sorry, no, Swaziland and Lesotho. Yeah. <laughs> um, so nowhere really outside of the South African landmass, but yeah. The common slug eater is found in damp localities where it is found. So for instance, in Gauteng, we have mostly grassland. Um, so it's more of a damp grassland where it will be found. The common slug eater is active during the day, meaning it is diurnal. You can see this because its pupils are round. The common slug eater doesn't have any venom whatsoever. It eats slugs and snails. It doesn't really need venom. At all. <laughs> and it eats the slugs and snails whole. It doesn't like bite. And wait for them to die. It just eats them all. <laughs> Hit that like button if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more snake and animal content every Monday and Friday and I will see you next time.